What's up guys, Josh from Strengthside. Back in the day when I was stiff as a board, trying to lift more weight just to feel better about myself, I wish someone would have smacked me in the back of the head and told me to do this workout. So if you're looking to trade in your heavy dumbbells and develop some full range of motion, strength and mobility, you are in the right place. This is a straight arm protraction I've been using to warm up with lately. I flip the palm upwards. That way we externally rotate the shoulder, allows you to get more serratus anterior function rather than using the pec to push the shoulder forward. I recommend using my shoulder blade strengthening routine to warm up. I'll link it on the screen now. This is the full workout routine. So take a picture of this, watch the video, learn how to do each exercise correctly and get started. First is the full range of motion push-up. Start in a plank position with your shoulder blades fully protracted, squeezing your core and your butt. Slowly lower yourself down by bringing the elbows straight back. Attempt to keep the same body line position throughout the full push-up. Attempt to lower yourself down so your thighs and chest touch the ground while maintaining posterior tilt of the pelvis. If your lower back arches, you've gone too far. Only go as low as you can while keeping a hollowed out spine position. If the full push up is too challenging, you can work on lowering down in a hollow position. Once you hit the ground, you can rest and push yourself back up on your knees. This is just the eccentric part of the push up. Inverted row, you'll need something to hang off of. Hang with your body parallel to the ground. Straighten the knees and keep the hips fully extended. Pull the shoulder blades back and pull the elbows directly behind your body. Keep your chest up high and try to pull your hands as low as possible. If you can, pause at the top of the rep for one second. If you find the full inverted row too challenging, keep your knees bent. Notice that I still keep my hips as extended as possible and I follow all the same cues pulling my shoulder blades back and pulling the chest towards the bar. For the tuck support hold, you'll need two objects to support yourself on. Chairs or parallettes work great. Firmly press your hands into the objects and lift your knees to 90 degrees or higher. Lock your elbows out and squeeze your shoulder blades and rib cage downward while keeping an open chest in a neutral head position. If the support hold is too challenging, follow all the same cues, but keep your tippy toes on the ground for assistance. In the active hang, you'll want to start by hanging passively from an object overhead. Let the shoulders drift upwards while the pelvis is pulled down. Once in a relaxed position, pull the shoulder blades straight down firmly. Keeping your elbows straight, pull hard from under the armpit. Attempt to move the rib cage straight down, no arching or moving the spine. Hold in this active position for the prescribed amount of time. Last is band external rotation. In order to get sufficient amount of intensity out of this exercise, we'll be holding for five seconds in the externally rotated position. Keep your elbow tucked to your side and only rotate through the upper arm to achieve the external rotation. This routine will help you build the fundamental basic strength in the upper body, which can lead to doing more advanced movements in the future. 
If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment below. If you want to give this video a like, well, I sure do appreciate you. Subscribe to Strength Side. As always, I'll see you in the next one.